Hello everybody and welcome back. I hope your weekend was as productive as mine. And when I say mine was productive, not really. <laughs> um, so today we're pulling my weekend orders, which is just a total of two. One from eBay and one from Macari. The one from eBay, it, it's a little interesting. I cross posted it a while ago to Facebook and Macari. And Facebook kept flagging me for this listing, no matter what I tried to do, um, no matter what I put in for the review and the appeal process, um, it just would not approve. And it is over here in box 16. I think it's going to be right on top because it is just a video game. Now, you can tell me why you think it was getting flagged. I can figure it out. It's just a GameCube game. Let's see. probably gonna be this one yep it is so here it is it sold for $19.95 on ebay it is the nintendo gamecube spongebob squarepants movie game no matter what i did it kept listing it as a service i don't know what service this is um because i'm definitely not gamefly is gamefly still around am i old is gamefly still around i don't know um but anyway <laughs> I don't know. It just kept flagging it, but it did sell on eBay for $19.95 full price. Took a few months to sell. Not too bad. Um, but it is, I think it's complete. Yeah, it's got the Nick Gamer Guide in there and everything. So it is tested. I know because I think this one, I know it came from my mother. But I think this actually was my mother's. Um, me and my mom enjoy the same kind of family style games. Except for right now. She's enjoying a whole lot of Red Dead, um, if you're into that sort of thing. I, on the other hand, not so much. Uh, I'll stick with the Switch. <laughs> um, so that's our first sale. And then the next one is going to be, of course, a salt and pepper shaker from Macari. Sold for $10. It's going to be over here. I do want to mention, I got all of my bags put away. Excuse my socks. Sorry. I don't even think they match. They don't. Um, and this floor needs to be vacuumed. But all the bags are put away. These are just some things that I don't have listed yet. Um, those went over, let's see, 29 I labeled 30, but the box is really damaged, so I'm going to pick up a new one. I just get these boxes from work. Uh, so box 30, 28, 27, and we stuffed some more puzzles in 26. I also have two more bags downstairs that I haven't brought up, but... Oh, and I did get all the stuff put away back from where I unearthed that duck, and I put all the games over here. So I came over here, came up here to pull orders. Figured I would just put a couple bags away and I actually got them all done. Minus the two downstairs. But yeah, I moved these board games from this shelf to this shelf. Because I thought it would just be easier to pull them here. But also because it makes room for, you know, more boxes for inventory. So let's see. It's in box HI, which means it's going to be right here. Let's see. So, technically in theory, I also listed two items today. So I'm, I'm actually on a really productive roll. I'm not too mad at myself. Uh, let's see. And I ordered my wedding shoes. <laughs> Reordered. This is the fifth time. I cannot find a pair that fits. Um, at this point, I will be going in flip-flops. Nobody will tell me otherwise, and that's just what I'm doing. Unless these next shoes fit. Oh, uh, no, let's see. This one here is a Native American salt and pepper shaker. It does have chief running water on it. Uh, let's see. I think I shoved them all in the back when I was rearranging. I'll turn it around just staring right at the back of my head um i know my undercut looks that nice but it's not that nice let's see there's a lot of ceramic in here and i think i see them yeah here they are great yeah this is before i ran out of ziploc baggies so here it is cheap running water has a lot of beautiful artwork on it. I'm glad this sold, um, hopefully to somebody who will appreciate it. It did only sell for $10, but that's still money coming in and something going out of this big stuffed box. Not too much of a difference, but, uh, it's something sort of <laughs> anyway. Yep. Here they are. Oh, it looks like that's an original price tag on there too from the Heritage Barn, $2.09 for two pieces. Wow. 
well, I don't know what year that was, but it's definitely increased in value. So maybe you should think about, maybe you should think about picking up some salt and pepper shakers instead of, you know, investing in stocks and NFTs and cryptocurrency. You see the money's in salt and pepper shakers. Don't let me or anyone else tell you otherwise. Money's over there and it's in the salt and the pepper. Don't worry about other investing. And in fact, if you're really nervous about it, just send all your money to me. I'll take it. I'll spend it. I won't invest it for you. I'll just take it. <laughs> but no, really. Um, when I bought these in bulk lots, I think some of the boxes that I got in bulk were right around 35 cents a piece or 58 cents a piece, depending on which box I bought. Usually most of them were from Facebook Marketplace. No, Facebook groups. If you are interested in selling salt and pepper shakers, you can buy them in bulk from almost anybody in a Facebook group. Just um, go to your Facebook and search salt and pepper shaker and you'll find so many groups of people who have them and so many people are constantly getting rid of their entire collection, someone else's entire collection, and they're just willing to haul them off in one bulk lot. Some people like to piece them out. Some people are like me and they're selling them, piecing them out. But for the most part, um, you can actually pick them up fairly cheap. I was picking up 50 to 100 sets at a time. Um, just sight unseen. It was getting, so, I was buying so many at one point back when I first started this channel a year ago that when people had a collection for sale, someone else who I didn't even know, this happened several times, would tag me in their bulk post. And I wouldn't even be ready for a next shipment and I'd already be buying another one. So if you are into collecting salt and pepper shakers, mystery salt and pepper shaker boxes, buying in bulk, it's definitely your go-to place. Also... I kind of fixed the sketchy light today. It's better than it was. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's definitely not gonna, it's definitely not gonna make you a millionaire sell, selling salt and pepper shakers. Um, when people ask you, are you selling in-demand products? Usually most eBay sellers, in my opinion, for the most part, are not. Most things that we sell on eBay are just dis not disposable. Um, or more wants, not needs, unless you're selling things like certain makeup and soap and electronics, you're going to fall into that category that's not an in-demand product. So you are at the mercy of people having disposable income. For me, I don't mind it. As you can tell, I sell plush and toys and salt and pepper shakers. I don't mind the long haul. Um, I'm still part-time. I do, call, do consider myself part-time because I'm no longer a hobbyist. I do have certain days off work that I do dedicate to both YouTube and reselling. So part-time, I wouldn't recommend going full-time if you're not going to implement some sort of either replenishable item that people are going to need constantly, like the box, the boxery, for instance. I mentioned that in a video coming uh, last week where I said that I get my boxes from the boxery. Those are things I run out of and I don't even price check anymore because I've been buying from the boxery for so long that I just trust them to have the lowest price. Um, so if you're not selling things that people are going to need to replenish, you are probably not in a hot market. My opinion could be wrong. You can let me know if I'm wrong for the most part, but that's it for the weekend. Um, I've had a really productive day. I feel like I just realized I never put that box away, but, uh, yeah, I think for the most part, I think, I think we're doing okay. I think we're starting off Q2 a little slow. Um, but Q3 is usually when things... Yeah, people say they get the summer slowdown too in Q3. Um, I tend to pick up a little more. I'm not sure why. So fingers crossed that we will be heading into the pickup. And once everything's done with my wedding, I will have a lot more time to get dedicate back to my reselling, which will be just in time for Q4. So that's it for me today. I'll see you guys in the next one. And if you haven't watched somebody ship a salt and pepper shaker before, say that three times fast. Ship salt and pepper shaker. Woo. Okay, so if you haven't seen somebody do that, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. This one is small enough that it's going to fit in a boxery, a 4x4x4 four by four by four box. And that's it. So lots of bubble wrap. I'll see you there. Bye.